people. Um, welcome to all of the new starting students in the Faculty of Sciences at the University of Adelaide. Uh, Karen Berovich here. I'm a professor in geology, so if you're taking semester two geology, you, may, uh, you will certainly see me. But I'm also the deputy executive dean in our Faculty of Sciences. Um, I hope to meet you all in the Wednesday welcome session. But what you're listening to right now is a short recording, about five minutes, that I made on Monday the 21st. The idea of this was to give you some of the more oh, routine information about, about starting uni with us. Hopefully this will free us up on Wednesday so that we can talk a bit more about some of the intangibles and, and perhaps be able to answer, have more time to answer questions from you. So okay, all of you are in some sort of program. I've listed the undergraduate programs here. Some of you may be in um, postgraduate coursework programs. Or you're in all these different programs. The idea about Monday's session, the enrollment session, is that you pick, you make course choices. You pick electives, perhaps. You pick core courses where you have no choice. Don't forget to have some fun. Mix these together into your degree program. So hopefully you have gone or will go to Monday's enrollment session. Um, and as I said, you might be in a particular program where you just don't have any choice about what you take in that semester or that year. Or you may be in a program like this one in the upper right where you have heaps of choice. So if you don't go to the Monday enrollment session, do be sure to go to the Faculty of Sciences office and get some um, help with enrollment. And I'll tell you about where that is um, later on here. A couple of things I want to cover now is, is just, just some matters about getting started at uni and getting started on the right foot. Number one, we want you to check email. We want you to use the internet in a professional manner because lots of your academics, in fact, all of them will mainly communicate by way of email. They'll either do that through direct university email or they'll use something called MyUni, which is the online um, learning system for our university. And in fact, it's where this, um, where this little recording is getting, getting posted for you. So it is definitely the way that we largely communicate with, with students. Number two important point, attend everything. Go to your lectures, go to your tutorials, go to your practicals, go to everything. By and large, students perform much better at uni academically if they actually attend all of the um, different components of your, of your course. And in sciences, we are heavy on lectures and practicals. What are your courses like? The big first year courses are big. They're in big lecture theaters like this one, and you all sit in the back, so I yell at you to come down front. Um, but big lecture theaters. Your practicals and tutorials, this is a geology prac up in the Sprig Room in the Mawson Building. They're smaller group work. You'll be around tables, either in, in our area, you might be looking at minerals and rocks and chemistry, you might be titrating, but smaller, smaller group experiences in the practicals and the tutorials. But I can't emphasize enough to go to everything. In terms of workload, it's expected that you would spend on average around 12 hours per week. That includes both the contact time and the non-contact time that you work on the course on, on your own. So about 12 hours per week over 13 weeks on every three unit course you, you take. So if you were doing four, that would be roughly 156 hours in total. So it's considered to be kind of a full time job. So most of your lectures are recorded, I won't lie to you. You might think, oh, you know, I've only missed 33 out of 36 lectures. I'll catch up in swap back. Do you know what? It is impossible, almost virtually impossible, to catch up once you fall behind. I mean, just the painful agony of trying to listen to lecture after lecture after lecture. You can imagine it just listening to this. So I just say it again. Attend your material. Attend your lectures and your, your different teaching events be going along and thinking, whew, this boat isn't doing so well. Um, there are drop-in centers to get academic help. You can speak to course or program coordinators. You're all in a program and you all have a coordinator. You've got a mentor. You'll hear more about that um, from other people. Come to the Faculty of Sciences office. Course coordinators are really important. Most of you are taking four courses in a semester. Um, if you did four courses every semester, you would graduate in three years, four three-unit courses. You can find the course coordinator if you, if you can't find it on my uni. You can find it on the Faculty of Sciences webpage. And they'll be listed by subject area. And let's say you click on geology, you'd come and find, ah, I'm taking Earth's Interior, and it's Prof. Karen Berovich, who's the course coordinator. That way you can click on that and send me an email. Um, ditto for programs. So let's say you want to talk to somebody about your program. You know, you want some advice on career pathways in a particular program that you're in. 
contact this person, the program coordinator. At that link, you'll find them all listed. And let's say you're in food science and technology, you could uh, then get Carolyn Schultz's contact information. There's heaps more help. Um, I talked mainly here about academic help. There's a counseling and disability service. There's education and welfare officers. A lot of this you find um, by way of the student hub. Uh, the International Student Center, if you're an international student, is a terrific place to go for help. Questions, if you've just got some question, don't think it's too small or too big. The people in the Faculty of Sciences office are, they have a big front desk and they are there to answer questions from you, the student. The entrance to that office is across from the Bar Smith Library entrance. They are really helpful. You can just drop in there anytime. You can email them if, you, if you're an emailer. You can phone them if you don't feel like doing one of those other two. And uh, they can pretty much help with anything. Okay, so that's, that's the routine stuff I wanted to get through. And hopefully I shall see most of you on Wednesday and we can um, do some other things rather than, than go through the routine matters.